not a penetrating, but an impaled object. Okay, still sticking out. Yeah, the big leg. Right. We'll go ahead and put it right here for the sake of making it easy. Right. My partner here holds that in place, stabilizes it because we do not want it to move around. Okay? Now, especially with this type of injury. Not only where the object is coming out, but it's possible that this could be a through and through type of impaled right? So we want to make absolutely sure that we don't have any sticking out the other side. Right? Now, while my partner's stabilizing manually the object, I'm going to basically stabilize it with trauma dressings. Okay. Now, the big thing going on here. Right. That's so when we're laying these trauma dressings, right? The rule is two thirds, okay, or three quarters of the way up is how far we want to stabilize the object, okay? But all we're doing, we've got bleeding to contend with here, right? We've got visceral fluid from the from the abdomen, considering where the where the injury is, okay? So what we're going to do is stabilize everything. Now, notice which direction I'm laying the trauma pads. See so how one side's open, right closed, versus the other side's open? You want the closed sides up against the object. Now, it doesn't matter which direction you lay that in, as long as the next course lays the opposite direction. Okay, so that laid this way, so this is going to go like that. Think about what, imagine what, imagine what you're doing. See, when I died my last three times, you have to watch the Now, regardless of which direction I laid the first pads, Okay, they were running this way. Good job. Always the last course needs to be running lengthwise, up and down. Okay. Let's take a guess at how we're going to secure these. With cravats. Okay, now the whole idea with why the dressings need to be or the bandaging material needs to be running this way is because once I secure them with cravats, I'm going to secure this way. Okay? If these were turned the opposite direction, like this, then when I tie the cravats, what's that do? It opens it up, okay? So this last course of dressings needs to be running distal across, okay? Or lengthwise in the bottom, okay? And again, your same technique for passing the cravats under, and you can tie those, one up top and one on the bottom, secured in place. Everybody can manage that, right? You have to assess.